Greetings and salutations. This is Abe Abdelhadi with The Bitter Truth, where we may not have all the answers, but we're going to ask an awful lot of questions. You can also become a member or whatever you want to do. Donate to the show at thebittertruth.info. We have a Patreon link there, and we've got some fabulous swag to make your life better. If you don't want to subscribe to the Patreon page, you can at least get a T-shirt or whatever you want to do. Help the show out, as you probably have figured out by now, if you listen to the show regularly. We don't take advertising because they don't like me, and I'm not fun at parties. So uh, my guest today, friend of the show, uh, lifelong activist, uh, has been on before, Adran Botorero, a uh, good friend of mine, and uh, you know, obviously got some uh, got some things to say over the little kerfuffle that we've had in uh, in Afghanistan, that, that 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 pesky place. Which, if our military watched the Princess Bride, they would have remembered Wallace Shawn famously saying, "Never get into a land war in Asia." But they didn't watch that movie or play Risk as a child, because what you would do is you'd bluff your opponent into Afghanistan and kick their ass and take all their marbles. But apparently West Point doesn't t- teach risk anymore either. Other uh, how are you? Uh, very well. Thank you. How are you? Abe? Hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm good and uh, I'm cranky and, um, you know, I should be more grateful, but I'm not. And uh, eventually I'll get there because it's just for now. So uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm moving through the uh, through the noise as uh, as we all oh, yeah. are. It's, it's, but, it's not that hard. It's not hard to be cranky, Abe. I mean, you know, I know. Uh, I know. It, it's a it's a condition when when you live in a, in a, in in the midst of of perhaps one of the most ignorant uh, nations the world has ever known, and then you know um, shit like this happens, and you find yourself having to have a program to explain, uh, you know, to people what has been in their faces, um, you know, for twenty years, thirty years, forty years going all the way back, you know, I mean, in, in this particular situation. Well, isn't that, but isn't that because, but, isn't, Vietnam. But, but I was gonna say, well, you brought up Vietnam. Isn't that because the American war machine learned how to market war better? I mean, everyone was asleep at the wheel, except for a few explosions in the last 20 years. They, 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 they act like they're surprised that we're pulling out of Afghanistan. Yeah, no, I mean, yes, they, they've gotten better at, at, at manipulating the truth and, and, and creating, you know, smoke screens. But at the same time, at one point or another, man, we, we got to create some personal accountability. And perhaps this is where I differ with a lot of my, you know, leftist brethren, man. You know, it's like, look, you know, some of the stuff, you know, if you have a brain, uh, there's enough stuff out there in your face to say, I mean, Everybody in this country should know by now that the war in Iraq was fabricated, that there sure. is nothing to be proud of, that there was no that they were lied to their faces. Sure. But, hey, and, you know, it's like, you, you know, you we're still having conversations that to have to validate that, you know, and, and now we're going to have about 40 minutes worth of Afghanistan doing the exact same shit. You know, right, right. so uh, at this point in time, me and the American people, man, uh, uh, are not, you know, seeing eye to eye on, on on reality, on 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 the world, on any goddamn thing. Well, I mean, but think about this, though. I mean, like 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 my little chats online and in person, in a couple of bars I go to. It's been stupid shit, like comparing if Trump fucked up or Biden fucked up. I'm like, well, Bush got us in there in the first place. Obama kept us there. Kept us there and and you got know, us in uh, five more wars. And no, 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 lie, lie, lie. I mean, you know, 2014, like the the, the oh, yeah. you know, he was sitting in Hawaii, uh, you know, declaring the war in Afghanistan over while you know NATO generals and you know were folding the the, the green flag and <laughs> here we are. I mean, you know, which which lends itself to question. Um, so uh, 2014, 2015, the war is over. And now we are being sucker punched by the exit uh, in 2021. I mean, you know, you, you, I mean, I, I would say, man, that like, you know, seven, six, seven years of uh, uh, of planning uh, for the war to be over. You know, I, I don't understand where the chaos and confusion came from unless it was intentional. Well, no, listen, hang on. I, 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 this is the kind of shit that I've been hearing. So it, it is intentional. It, it, the, the, the delusion is intentional. Yes. I mean, I, I had somebody tell me the, the, the other day, uh, straight face, right winger. And, you know, she was like, well, you know, we, we, that means 100,000 Afghans died for nothing. I go, well, first of all, we killed 200,000. And second of all, the quote, 100,000, it's about closer to 50,000 soldiers that died in Afghanistan. So the other 150,000 were civilians that we killed or the Afghans tortured, right? Because if you weren't yeah. on the side of the government, you were a bad person and they tortured you. So you want to talk about women's rights and everything else. What I say is have the United States 
army on the way home invade Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. You want to talk about human rights? Um, but but this thing. So so she believes that 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 narrative. You know that they died for freedom. They died, for, and we left them behind. Like no, they didn't die for freedom. You you you, you want? To, they keep saying that the Afghans have no will to fight. They have no will to fight an imposed civil war by the United States. That's of what course, it is. I mean, of course, of course. I mean, and 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 we can get this. We can get further into it as to like you know the nature the nature of the uh, of the capitulation of of the Afghan National Army. I mean, what do they have to fight for? I mean, a bunch of corrupt warlords, a government that was created by an invading uh, empire um, mm-hmm. that basically you know kept the country um, you know. I mean, talk about what nation building? Where was the industrialization? Where were the agricultural self-sufficiency programs? None. Where was the infrastructure development? None. The only the only nation building that we did was to create one of the longest gravy train uh, government guaranteed profit to contractors and weapon makers that made billions of dollars yeah. year after year for two decades yeah. on this long-term no-bid contracts. Many of the companies are, are, are run by like Pentagon, ex-Pentagon and CIA officials. That's right. No That's oversight, right. no That's right. accountability. Meanwhile, right. meanwhile, you know, thousands of Afghanis, the Afghani people can see this. They can see what's going on. Thousands of Afghanis are are dying, you know, every month under either Taliban or U.S. bombs, right? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. what exactly, you know, are we expecting a average Afghani working class person that's in the army to be fighting uh, another Afghani for? You know, uh, I mean, we have to wrap our brains against that around that. And and of course, there is a whole other conversation that needs to be had about who, you know, who is the Taliban? Uh, who gave the Taliban power? How did the Taliban even come into existence? Well, really quick. Well, here's a quick back uh, little run up because I'm, I'm, t- I'm sick and tired of hearing people, you know, bitch about the Taliban. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a Taliban fan. They're not coming over for Thanksgiving. But how did the Taliban get started? The way almost every Middle Eastern terror group gets started, the United States. In 1979, Zbigniew Brzezinski, if you recognize the last name, he's Mika Brzezinski's dad from Morning Joe, um, which explains her, you know, uh, corporate bullshit bona fides. Um, so him and Jimmy Carter came up with a whiz bang idea to send, you know, bathtub trained Pakistanis and Iranians and everyone else into a secular socialist Afghanistan because they were a client state of the Soviet Union. And right. we want we wanted to lure the Russians into their own Vietnam. And, and we did. And, we, and did. we did and, and kick their ass. And unlike us, they couldn't print money back then. This is before they they dropped the Soviet shit. Uh, and so they ran out of money. And so the wall fell and all that crap. Right. right. But after eight or nine years, and that, that was our responsibility. We did that, which is fine. If you want to strategically fuck with your enemy, that's how you do it. But then we fell into the same fucking trap. Did the same goddamn thing that we lured the Russians into. Right. No, but we acted like uh, the, the problem is that it, it is such an easily um, I mean, it, I mean, all you need to do is like, you know, the freedom fighters, you know, there are videos out there uh, of, of of U.S. government, you know, Reagan and and, right, right. and and all of this, you know, Kissinger and and one after the other praising the the free, you know, the freedom fighters, you know, who were the freedom fighters? Like, you know, they were the same people that just cost us like a couple of trillion dollars. And uh, and, and eventually, of course, like somewhere along the line, I believe it was Obama's uh, administration who said, well, they're not really our enemies. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, they, you know, it, it got so convoluted and and and, and so weird. And, and we were like making such little gains that that, you know, they had to say during during, you know, one of the um, congressional hearings that like, well, the Taliban is really no longer our enemy. They're just our, our opposition. I mean, something really, uh, you know, uh, surreal. Well, it, it, it's the same, it's the same, but it's the same, it's the same double standard bullshit that this country engages in when they try to tell me that Assad is a dictator. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, hang on. So Assad is fighting ISIS and Al Qaeda and Al Nusra. Uh-huh. And we're fighting ISIS and Al Qaeda and Al Nusra. Uh-huh. Well then if Assad's fighting them, and we're fighting them. Should we be on Assad's side? But how come we're not doing that? Oh, because we want to install 
another right wing fucking caliphate in Syria who will play ball with their wheat and their oil because Assad is saying, fuck you, because he's a client to the fucking Soviet or the Russians. That's politics. Get out if you don't like it. Right, you know, right. and, and, and to sit there and act like, oh, he's a dictator. He's a, what the fuck? Saudi Arabia chops off 37 heads on a Tuesday. <laughs> right. And, and, and they and they torture people. That shit with that shit with Khashoggi. This is the Saudi mentality. It's almost like, oh, were we thinking out loud again? Oh, it's not normal to chop up a journalist while he's still alive with a bone saw. <laughs> no, no. And of course, of course, we, we have the audacity to say that, like, you know, um, I mean, there are some people who are outright saying that. One of the, you know, primary reasons that, you know, we went there besides, you know, the association of the Taliban with with Al Qaeda or or enabling or allowing for Al Qaeda to operate from within Afghanistan was, you know, the rights of women, you know, the rights yeah. of women. Yeah. And uh, and and the women of Afghanistan have known no rights since the secular socialist government. No shit. Everything else has been nothing but bullshit. And like, you know, what Americans don't know is that we've had uh, under the non-Taliban U.S. sponsored and financed regime, four out of five women have been forced into marriage with like, you know, m- a vast majority of those women being underage sure. that like a woman can... St- a man can still rape a woman legally, uh, his wife, and get away with under it. under Afghan law, and get away with it. Uh, and 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 that outside of this like smokescreen of for some of the women in the elite, the average Afghan woman has been struggling for the last twenty years to not be killed by a fucking bomb dropped on them by well, the United that's States that's or like, the Taliban. That's the thing. Like you, like this is what pisses me off about about most Americans. Who follow? Who not even follow this? But the once in a while something happens that they go, "Oh my god!" And then they they watch Rachel Madcow or Sean Hannity for a week, and then they think they know everything. And I don't know everything. I mean, I've just read a lot of books or whatever. What the fuck? But you know, I don't know everything. I mean, I I got I, I have forgotten more about this shit than most people know. As 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 have you. And I'm not like bragging. I'm just saying yeah. because when you say this to people, they go, "Oh, I didn't know that." Well, okay, then if you're gonna be so passionate about your ill-informed opinion, can you at least get a little bit more background before you start telling me? You know, that it's Biden's fault or Trump's fault or you shouldn't have made the de- dude. We shouldn't have been there in the first place. And you can't name. And, and, to, and to your point a minute ago, and this is an analogy that I didn't make up, but I like it a lot. A guy named Graham Elwood came up with this. Um, OK, so the, the, the Tokyo Olympics were in 1964. Right. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if we were still fighting the Japanese in 1964? Right. And 19 years after the war, 19 years after the war, they are not only rebuilt, but they're hosting the Olympics. OK, mm-hmm. we haven't created economic partners since 1950. No one can point to me a single country in the last 71 years that we made better by our presence. Right. We, we rebuilt Europe. We rebuilt Japan. We didn't do that with the Middle East. And the right. only guys we're keeping stable are the right wing dictatorships like Saudi Arabia, fucking Israel, Palestinians. You, you want to talk about women's rights? Palestinian women don't have rights. My friend's cousin just got kidnapped by the IDF. They tied her up and, and, and she's 21 years old. She's a kid. And they tied her up and they took her to jail. Right. Uh, yeah. I don't remember cops being allowed to do that. Yeah. It yeah just by pe- the way, I, I have a page on Facebook for, for folks listening about this. And I, I have to plug it, it which is a, a page specifically dedicated to women political prisoners in Palestine. If you if you put those words together, you know, you'll cut, you know, you'll, you'll turn up. And uh, and we're trying to 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 bring attention to that, to bring attention to to, um, you know, to debunking. You know, so it, 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 that is that is a whole different question. But let, let me. Let me get back to you about. No, no, I want to put. I'll put that link in the body of the show. But continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let me get back to you about. Um, so the, the there are a couple of things. Um, Europe, uh, the s- sort of rebuilding of Europe was critical for our uh, I- imperial aspirations. Uh, the rebuilding of Japan was also critical. So uh, the um, there is. Outside of the pillaging of resources, outside of uh, keeping um, 
what we perceive as competing uh, powers in check, in this case, Russia and China, uh, our ventures into Central Asia, um, Africa, and, and to some degree, even in Latin America back in the 70s and the 80s when the Soviet Union was still there, uh, were mainly intended you know, to, to, to basically create uh, um, some sort of, of buffer um, to maintain cont geopolitical control of, of what we have deemed as our inherent um, global property. Uh, and, and so Europe being rebuilt was not done out of the kindness of of, of our hearts, and, and neither was Japan. And, no, it was economic. It was, tra it was creating trading partners, is what. It of was. course, it was creating trading partners, and in the case of Europe, it was creating partners that as, as, as were making a full circle, were critical in our imperial uh, venture in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Syria, France. England, uh, I mean, they're gonna be with us till till we die, you know. Yeah, but 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 but, but that's what. But but that's that's the, but that's the that's the downfall though too, isn't it? I mean, NATO, they they did there was not not a lot of NATO pushback when Biden earlier in the year expanded NATO into Iraq. You know what I mean? Right. They, they, like yeah. when, when they went into Libya, that was a NATO-led air force before the United States showed up. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't think NATO does anything without our without our our, our marching orders. Oh, absolutely, you know? absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I, 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 France had a vested interest in Libya, especially as Gaddafi was moving towards some kind of, you know, independent um, uh, African bank. Uh, that well, was yeah, he wanted to, to make an Afro. It was yeah, right, right, right. That was going to cut directly into yeah. in, in, into into French, uh, you know, French. Uh, historical control of, of of financial activity in uh, equatorial Africa and sure. North Africa, sure. and so there were many, many, many reasons, you know. Uh, and and of course, you know, I mean, uh, no one has taken responsibility for what happened in Libya. But what I wanted to say about uh, something you said a little bit earlier, there is a reason why uh, one of the key things that um, that I, I, I you know I I see you you know, knocking your head up against, and there is a very, really uh, easy answer to why <laughs> in your engagement with all of these people uh, outside of maybe a selected few, Americans do not have an understanding of their country as a ruthless imperialistic country. They just don't. In other words, they got stuck in 19, in, in, in 70, 76, which they even, you know, if you look a little deeper, even that's dirty. Sure. You know, even that's fucking dirty. Well, we got rid of it. we got rid of the articles. <laughs> we got rid of the articles of uh, the, the the of the Confederacy, didn't we? And we turned it into the Constitution, which became and that's how we got the Electoral College. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, no, but I mean, I'm talking about the fact that like there was never like a popular people's revolution in this country. Right. We have never been a, a people's. Uh, country, we have never been free of the control of autocratic, uh, privileged, you know, white man, and uh, and 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 not to turn. I, I may, I, I may not have, you know, I should maybe not have said that because that's going to send like well, no, because it, all of these fucking people like no, oh, I mean, well, white it's man, not, it's not our fault, you know. It's like I'm a white well, working class well, hang, person. Well, hang on, we've evolved though because it's not necessarily autocratic white men. It's a class thing now. So we're you know like Lloyd Austin is right. in that class now. Oh, Barack Obama is in that class now. Yeah, it's become a class Obama, thing. Yeah, but it is, but it's not. The bulk of the wealth in this country, you know, if we break it down into like, you know, specific scientific data and quintiles, you know, the, the oligarchy of this country remains fundamentally white. And you have a couple of administrators that are black. And then you have a couple of other people that like, you know, made a few million dollars making shit music or being in stupid fucking movies. And other than that, man, the fucking power is still in the hands of the same motherfuckers that were that had it in 70, 76 when they. Well, the, the I, this is you know? this is where I this is, you know, where I'm going to playfully beg to differ because it's a class thing now. Because no, it's always it was always a class thing. Condi Rice, Problem Condi Rice didn't get the job because she holds holds the point of view of Black Lives Matter. She got the job because she has she has the point of view 
no, Lloyd no, no, Austin no. got the job. I mean, you know, Kamala yeah, Harris. Yeah, yeah, is a yeah, cop, yeah, yeah. But right? that's not wealth. But that's not wealth. That's rich. Uh, in, in that's words, rich. That's in, rich. In, 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 yeah, but it's not. It's wealth. not. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not the bulk. It's not generational of, wealth where, that goes where, deep. Where, where right. eighty and ninety percent, where eighty to ninety percent of the wealth lies in this country, and and I personally am not a huge. I have never and will never be a fan of identity politics i think it's a fucking bourgeois fabrication for the most part and, it is. and that basically diminishes our ability to basically create class solidarity in a struggle against you know a common enemy on the other on on, on the other hand there are there are definite um uh, uh sort of benchmarks in our history that point towards the direction that you know, white wealth, you know, has always been in power and will continue to be in power for a long time, regardless of, of how they may want to like whitewash it. But that's a whole different conversation. Well, yeah, I think. The, the, the point, I'm, let's kind of get back to, on track, though. So 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 what, what I'm hearing you say, and this is kind of, this is kind of this was sort of my point. Yeah. Um, from 1950 on and I'm being generous, but from 1950 on. It has been wars for money. Korea, Vietnam, they've all been wars for money. Right. Based on a lie. We had no Gulf of Tonkin. That didn't happen. But Johnson expanded the war. Right. Right. Yeah. Panama, we invaded a country the size of San Antonio, killed 6,000 people, arrested a guy that we installed. We installed Noriega. He came after Torritos, right? Right. And he wasn't playing ball with us anymore. So- you know, he was keeping too much coke for himself. Whatever he was doing, he wasn't playing ball with the CIA anymore. So we went and arrested him, tried him in a Miami jail. That's America for you. And he died of cancer in an American jail. Right. So yeah. it's like this. What country when I brought up the Japanese example, what country can we point to since 1950 that we made better by our presence? Right. We have well, especially, well, especially after like a, a trillion dollar investment. I mean, you know, we. Yeah. We don't have money for healthcare. We don't have money for education, and 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 that doesn't count the 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 like I think like two point. I got it written down somewhere. I'm not even going to look for it because I mean these numbers get to the point where they start to not really mean much to That's people. Right. But I I will encourage your, your listeners to look it up themselves. Sure. But 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 I think ultimately that there is like at least a couple of trillion dollars that you can add and and come up with what's been. Uh, spent in Afghanistan. And that uh, does not include the interest that we're going to have to pay on the money that, you know, that we had to borrow to actually, uh, you know, in, do this. So, right. so in, there is, you know, at that point, I think it becomes in another 20 years, each American is going to still be paying about $20,000 a year for this fucking debacle. Oh, um, and, and we're not even paying for it yet. Our taxes don't reflect the wars or the last three. Right, right, right. But, but 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 this is gonna. This comes to like about twenty interests and you know, sure, and title sure. and registration. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the, <laughs> it's a uh, it's about rates may 20, vary. It's about yeah, no rates may vary <laughs> depending on your state. It, it comes to about fucking like twenty thousand grand per person, man. You know, uh, I, I could have uh, I could have fixed my roof, my fucking. <laughs> well, see, but, 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 but this is the thing when you look at Afghanistan, when you look at all these 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 adventures. It's it, it's a bunch of chicken hawks who are so detached from the American people. And no one I mean, we lost we used to protest in this country. People forget yeah. that Nixon was the last New Deal president we had. Oh, and yeah. it was and it wasn't and it wasn't because he was this grandfatherly benevolent guy. He was scared shitless of a real left. We had civil rights protests. We had war protests. You know, it's like he, he he was he passed OSHA. He passed the EPA. He passed the Cancer Act. He passed Title IX. Like he did yeah. all this shit because he was terrified of a real left fucking with his reelection. Right. Well, I, mean, and, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, and, and in the trajectory of the history, you know, uh, I mean, like this, it gets to the point where you, you lose your fear. Uh, right. I mean, when, when you get to commit the amount of of treason when you get to, you know, when you get busted lying to the, I mean, the fact that there is not one single person in the Bush administration, like, you know, on trial, right. uh, serving time for treason, yeah. lying yeah. Uh, from, uh, 
uh, I mean, you name them, you know, every single one of them. Uh, I mean, how in the world are you going to, back then, you know, there was still in the possible lingering fear that like, holy shit, you know, I may just end up in jail, but but not, yeah. not it's 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 gone way past that sure. the decay and the corruption of, of of our of our of our empire has entered such a deep level of decay uh that you know th- that that it is the permissiveness the 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 uh impunity with which they are committing crimes against the people under every single administration since when w- w- what is your assessment of that at what point, you know, did they realize that it was just like a, a, a green light to do whatever the fuck you wanted with impunity? Patriot uh, Act. Yeah, I mean, I guess- because look, look at this. I, I dare my friends to do. And my friends that still watch like television because I can't watch news. I can't watch PBS. I can't watch any of it because it just pisses me off. And the and the few times a month that I'll do it for quote unquote homework, what I've discovered about last three four years is if you're watching a guy come on Fox or MSNBC. He's an ex CIA guy or he's on the board somewhere, right? It'd be general so-and-so retired general so-and-so. He sits on the board at Baker. He sits on the board at Raytheon. So he's going to say, we need more F-35s or he's going to say, we need more Tomahawk missiles before they used to, before they used to whitewash it, before it was like, they would get this shit faxed to them. Right. right? The church commission showed us that in the seventies. They, and they owned almost, you know, like half the news outlets, and they, they decided to stop doing that. It was a waste of money. I could just install a guy, pay him mm-hmm. as an analyst. And if you're watching television, anyone that's listening to the show, next time you see an analyst, quote unquote analyst, military analyst, come on, Google their name. And within right. 10 searches, you're going to see on the first page, oh, he's on the board at Baker. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, so, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, look who's who's in the in Biden's administration, man. I mean, you know, the, it's, just, they, it, it's, it's the United Colors of assholes is what it is. It's like, yeah, instead of, of Benetton, it's just a marketing camp. Like, look at how diverse. I'm sure that the people of Afghanistan and Syria are really stoked that Lloyd Austin's a black guy. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, what's his name? The, you know, Anthony, Anthony Blinken. Anthony, it's Anthony with no yeah. H. It's Anthony. no H. Anthony. Okay, so tell me about him. I mean, you know, wh- wh- where he was, was an aide the- under Biden in, in the in the Senate when Biden was in the Senate. He totally pimped Biden on on voting for every war that we're in. He right, he right, pimped, yeah. Right. And 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 when you research him, wh- wh- where do you find them? You find them in every you know possible fucking board of every you know. That's right. I mean, so so I mean I mean the thing is that they are no longer worried. Um, you know, we may be the only country where, you know, uh, war criminals and um, human right abusers and even torturers um, that have the blood of hundreds of people on their hands and perhaps even the destruction of whole societies going down to shop at the at their H.E.B. or their Whole Foods or whatever without a bodyguard, you know. Right. Uh, in other words, um, in other words, the, the the level, you know, and then of course you have all of this, you know, uh, uh, all of this, you know, macho men, you know, that 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 believe that, you know, that, and they're chicken hawks. They're, 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 yeah, they're, yeah, they're gonna prove. They're gonna prove. You know, they're gonna turn that on its head by by like targeting some some radical, uh, you know, woman of color and put her in her place. You know, and right, right, like they they have no idea. They have no idea uh, about who the enemy are. They are so fucking pathetic. I am mad uh, at the left for many different reasons, oh, but trust like me. this. Fucking right wing motherfuckers, man, and and they're but the incredible left incredible ignorance. But, 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 but hang on, but hang on, but, so but, out of there. But hang on, not, hang on, hang on. Yeah, the the, the, le- the left that buy into anything that Joe Biden has to say. Or no, Hillary that's not Clinton. the left. That's not the left. I'm okay. talking about. I'm talking okay. about my frustrations. That I mean, you know, that's they're Republicans. Those guys no, are no, Republicans. No. Yeah. Well, that goes back to, to to what I was saying about the average American and my frustrations with them. I, I'm referring specifically about right wingers. You know, the, the, the 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 left that that that's supposed to know better. Uh, not 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 so much, you know, uh, and in in terms of our inability to create a a, a united front, in in you know, to create a, a an organizing foundation for 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 our collective, you know, perhaps um, uh, more advanced analysis. Sure. You know, th- 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 there is a lot to be said in terms of um, a, a critique of of the of the so-called organized left. 
uh, which is no such thing. There is no organized left in this country. Um, It seems to be, it's not a uniquely American phenomenon, except that, you know, some things are still happening in Latin America that we are like light years behind from achieving, like what's happening in Chile with the drafting of a whole new constitution under, under direct pressure from the bottom up, you know, forcing the government, you know, to actually like uh, meet the people where the people want it to be met or, or, or face the consequences. So th- there are always encouraging things that we can look to, except in this country. <laughs> well, the, and, well and, you, and, you, and, to your, and to your point, this is, and to your point, because we, we okay, so a couple of years back when, you know, Trump pulled, what, four or five coups in Venezuela and they failed miserably. And then, <laughs> you know, when, when Bolivia crashed and they chased out Evo Morales, right? Yeah. I, when that happened, I was at a party and I specifically I was I specifically, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. And I was at a party and I specifically as the day it happened, I was at a party that night and I remember talking to some people and this one guy said, well, you know, Evo Morales was running it for 14 years. That's a long time ago. Angela Merkel has been running Germany for fucking 15 years. We're not chasing her out, are we? No, man. we don't do that course. with white countries. And but, but here's the thing. <laughs> We've been lied to and lied into every war this last 20 years. Forget before. Forget Vietnam, forget the yeah. Spanish-American War. Just the last 20 years in our lifetime. In our lifetime. So yeah, if a kid's 20, I don't, yeah, that's fine because he's 20. But if, if a person's 30 or over, you've been lied to about every war. And right. yet, they with a straight face, people are justifying Venezuela to me. They're justifying Bolivia to me. Oh, you leave the dictator. What, what empirical evidence do you have that that guy's a dictator? And now I'm hearing saber rattling for the last six or eight months with China. Are we going to get lied into China? And they have no, 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 no. They've been laying the, yeah, I mean, come on. They've been laying the groundwork for that. And I, I, I've lost friendships over China with the left because I guess, you know, all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm some kind of like uh, crazy person, Beijing apologist. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I, you know, it's not black and white, you know, not everything in the world is some kind of like false binary opposition because That's Americans right. love to see things. It's either, it's like, I can have a critique about China, but I'm not going to sit there and watch, you know, the, 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 the media, including the left media That's begin right. to be, begin to like you know roll the drums of war you know set the stage you know the fabricating outright fabricating lies yeah you know there are there are outright referencing people uh, 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 around the, the the Hong Kong and and what's happening uh, and that was you bullshit, know, w- yeah. with the Muslims inside China. You, I mean, some of the stuff within two or three minutes of research, you start to find who's behind it, who right. they are, That's who right. they work for, who's paying them. It doesn't take rocket science yet. People are are I don't understand. But that. that's my but that's my I point. I do though. not understand where in the world, you know, in other words, we have to have and this is what I meant before, Abe, the lack of education, the lack of uh, of historical understanding of of geopolitical relationships, the lack of understanding the history behind China, the lack of, of understanding that in a world where the IMF and the World Bank and the United States have been holding the global South by the balls sure. on every single deal, like making you, you know, uh, uh, have to go into debt for the next 75 generations just to be able to, to build a road connecting you to your coast you know, so that you can have a port, you know, escapes people. So China is now the bad guy because they happen to say to to a lot of global South countries, hey, and, you know, and they start fabricating shit. The whole thing about the Sri Lanka port, you know, and, 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 you know, and this predatory. No, people need to read the facts. That's not how the shit went down. It was an open bid process. There was Canadian interest involved in that whole Sri Lanka thing that has become the, 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 the milestone for showing how China is engaging in this sort of like uh, mercenary, you know, uh, imperialist lending practices. Study the shit that you are spewing out before you open your but mouth. They don't. They're this thing, that, like, and they, but they, th- this is a country that thinks Red Dawn is a documentary. Okay. Right. This, this is a country that thinks John Wayne was real and he fought at Iwo Jima, right? <laughs> this, this is a country that does not realize that you're being fed a good and bad binary. You're being fed an evil, right? There's no, it, it, three years ago when China discovered oil and natural gas in the South China Sea. 
Yeah. That's when I knew that we were going to try to give them some democracy. <laughs> right. Okay. Because if they, they've been pumping out something like 15, uh, like, fi- like, like, like 15 million barrels of oil every month or some ridiculous amount. And like yeah. 2,100 cubic meters of natural gas, every, yeah, like yeah, some yeah. ridiculous every day. It's like, they didn't have to fire a shot. You didn't have to invade anybody. It's in their backyard. And so what do we start doing? Trump sends a bunch of ships fucking about in the South China Sea. And Biden has not pulled back on that crap. No, no, of course. But 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 this I mean, people don't never study the opium wars. People people have never studied history, you know, um, the, you know, and, and, and we can't what study masturbate less. Get up earlier and have it done. And then the yeah, rest well, of the day you could read shit. I mean, read right, a book. No, but, well, OK, but 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 we have when it comes to there are right now we are dealing with the, there is stuff happening around this the, the Taliban and Afghanistan thing just to make yeah, a yeah. full circle sure which, sure which is kind of shocking right in other words there are people saying things like you know i mean i mean you know like granting the Taliban the status of some uh anti-imperialist freedom fighter like somehow you know we are we are in cuba in 1959 it, 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 it's just as absurd as believing the, the running narrative. And I and I'm sure that you're Absolutely. not encountering that as much. Uh, but 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 there is this tendency to somehow, you know, confuse, you know, look, it, it is a loose, loose situation for the Afghani people. And the Taliban was created by the United States. And the Taliban is one of the worst things that can happen to the Afghani people, other than having the fucking Americans there for another like 20 years. Right. So like, you know, we, we cannot, again, we cannot solve this dilemma by, by this reductionist, idiotic American tendency to turn everything into some kind of like oppositional, you know, uh, uh, binary, man. It, it, it cannot be solved like that. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it, in other words, it's like God saved the the, the 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 Afghani people from these motherfuckers, man. You know, but then again, we, you know, by saying that, I'm not, you know, uh, you know what I mean. Like I've been I've been seeing like responses on 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 my own social media stuff by saying that, you know, don't you know, pigeonhole me into some kind of like imperialist narrative, uh, uh, you know, apologist, man. In other words, it's like there is no way at what point, at what point in a revolutionary analysis did we forget that like extremist religion, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's the enemy of free thought and and, and the enemy of, of revolutionary progress. At what point am I going to have to start apologizing that in Spain during the Civil War, the first thing that we did was to go after their fucking churches because the church had like oppressed us and had like undermined the rights of the people stolen from us. And, and, and enable like one oligarchy after another, keeping sure. people in poverty. At what point am I going to have to apologize for what we did in the 1930s in Spain to Catholics? That's the kind of identity politics bullshit analysis that like people don't understand. These people are not revolutionaries. They are not the friends of the Afghani people. They are they are tools that have been fabricated from the beginning by American imperialism. The the same way that 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 the Free Syrian Army was fabricated by by the United States and by Saudi Arabia and and and, and by Kuwait and by Turkey and right now. So the idea is, it's like, get rid of your fucking stupid half-baked, you know, uh, 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 you know, anti-imperialist American analysis because a lot of it is bullshit. You know, the words we have got to understand and we have got to get back to solidarity with the people that are oppressed and oppressed by the agency of what all of the sudden it's like it's a cultural difference it's a cultural difference that a woman is gonna fucking get stoned because she's not gonna wear a burqa that's a fucking cultural difference that i need to fucking you know like look at as as a, a as a western imperialist give me a fucking break yeah, but see but then this gets back but the, we got a few minutes here but, the, but this gets back to and this is the point I made before. Who invented that? Hey, in 1978, 1979, 
Afghans weren't stoning women for not wearing a burqa. No, no, no. Who, Religi- install, who installed those motherfuckers? No, 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 no. I, I said that. I said that already. Yeah. In other words, in other words, we did this in, in Vietnam and right. we did it in Cambodia. There would right. have been no Pol Pot without without U.S. intervention. We bombed with- Cambodia. We took we took an otherwise passive group of people. No. And turn them and 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 create and created because we started bombing no, them. No, we did more than that. We 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 destroyed and we undermined which is which any, gave which, any, which gave, any any legitimate progressive right which gave rise which, force. which gave rise to the Khmer Rouge. No, but 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 what I'm saying, Dave, goes a little deeper than that. In other words, not since the days of Queen Isabella and even beyond. For two thousand years, we have been dealing with this with with this. You know, I mean, in other words, there is when it comes to torture, genocide, repression, you know, where where did this originate? In other words, we have got to be honest about about the impact of religion on on civilization. And I don't want to be like cutting deals. I don't want to be playing footsie with anybody anymore. You know what I mean? Like uh, 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 the brainwashing that goes on in the South by Italian vagilists is a crime against that child. They are brainwashing. They are they are preventing children from 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 learning free thought. And when you give them power, there has never been one single instance where a theocracy was in power power where they did not do exactly what the Taliban is about to do. The fact that we created them, you know, you know, for us needs to be a huge responsibility. Absolutely. But this is where Americans don't take that responsibility. They act like the Taliban is this evil thing that we've been keeping at bay, which is not true. And in addition to, you know, like, like, you know, not keeping them at bay, we've been bombing the fuck out of that country for 20 years, murdering civilians. Of course. On the regular. So, so, so. When you said takers, people well, like and, Americans, and, and now Americans. and now we're going to be, you know, like Germany is already speaking. A lot of those people that they're trying to get out of Afghanistan are not just like, you know, afraid because of their human rights activism. A lot of those people were hired to to, to persecute and torture yeah. people. And now they're talking about allowing people to leave Afghanistan without passports to, to enter into Germany, to enter into the European Union. And, I, the, you know, you know, it's a stupidest words, idea. Ever. That's a no, stupidest no, no, idea. No, no, ever. no. Yeah. You know where they're going to bring in Miami, because that's where all the other, you know, murderers uh, go right. to. They, I don't right. know what they love Miami. See, but you here's it. OK, but here's the thing. This again. And we got to wrap up here in a little bit. But, but But this is but this is the challenge. The narrative gets spun. And I, I have Americans in this country now, in my city now, saying things like, well, we just can't leave those Afghans that they cooperated with. OK, it, you, you go get a rescue dog and you don't know where the fuck it's been. And then all of a sudden the ceiling fan does something weird and it freaks out because it remembers back in the day. Its owner used right. to beat the shit out of him when the ceiling fan was going on. Now he's going to bite right. you. Right. We're getting these guys. They weren't all Red Cross out there. Right. Our, our, our cooperated Afghani people, you know, like you said, they were torturers. A lot of them were cops. You know, they, 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 they if you were suspected of being Taliban or suspected of being a, a, a quote, Muslim extremist, they did things to you and they did yeah. things to women too, people. Right. So, ah, uh, man, listen, we got to wrap up, dude. But, okay, um, so, so, so yeah. So let's name some of the companies that made millions before please, we close. Do that. Yeah. Boeing, do that. Boeing, you know, building B1 bombers, B52, C17 cargo jets, B22 vertical takeoff aircrafts, and F15s and F18 fighters made a, made billions of dollars. Their stock, if you had paid it, if you had bought their stock in 2001 for ten thousand dollars, that stock would now be worth a hundred and seven thousand dollars. Raytheon. Wow. Okay, they basically, you know, are, are in charge of Raytheon Technologies. Uh, they are they are one of the U.S. military uh, contractors to train Afghani Air Force pilots. Their stock uh, from 2001 to now, ten thousand dollars, would now translate into forty three thousand dollars. Lockheed Martin. F-35 stealth fighter, Black Hawk helicopters, yeah. which yeah. we know we, you know, those are, are, are big sellers. Their stock would not be worth $133,000. <sighs> General Dynamics, uh, their stock, they, they, they basically, we do armor vehicles. They do the um, what the hell, man? The um, the Marines uh, LAV twenty five light armor vehicles. That's their big gig, and they do the uh, the communications and IT security. Their stock from ten thousand would have jumped to seventy two thousand. Wow. Northrop Grumman, 
um, has made uh, their stock would be about one hundred and twenty nine thousand uh, dollars. You know, and and we know, and, and that's just the military contractors. Sure, sure, then we sure. have the non military contractors. Uh, you know, DynCorp, um, Exxon Mobil, uh, Floor Corporation. Uh, those they have also made billions and billions of our tax dollars. And 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 let me, you know, because I know that I that I flew off the handle. Uh, 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 <laughs> Don't worry about uh, it. Uh, 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 as an atheist revolutionary, you know, I will never divorce my struggle against capitalist imperialism from from fighting the ignorance of of religion and religion extremism. You know, Marx was not wrong when he said that religion was the opium of the people. And in the last twenty to thirty years, I have seen this huge compromise to where, in the name of tolerance, we we have to basically play footsie with. Are our fundamental enemies against free thought, against critical thinking. You cannot have a free mind if you're being told that, like, if you don't follow this dogma, then, you know, you, you're going to go to hell. You cannot tell that to a child and then come to me and speak to me about like tolerance. But that's not the goal. But that's not the goal of the United States, man. The goal of the United States is money and creating obedient workers, dude. That's And how do you create obedient workers? You make them afraid of hell. And let them figure it out when they're ten or eighteen. That's that. That's why the church has been failing the last twenty years. It's just but, but that's that. that the, what you're saying is laudable and admirable, but it's not the goal of the United States. It never no, has no, been. No, it's not. It's not the goal of the United States. But you have to take that into consideration when you understand what is happening. Like let's say in North and Syria, you know, um, you know what is happening uh, in, in the Rojava. What is happening in terms of what are the struggles that are waging across the world for liberation, and 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 what does that holistic picture look like? And we cannot just dismiss. You know, we cannot attribute the Taliban, the, 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 the face of, of liberators uh, or, uh, struggling against an imperial power, because like you said, not only did we create them, but there is nothing liberating for humanity behind religion and theocracies. There has never been a theocracy in the world. But of course, like there's so much, you know, white guilt and the children of empire guilt. I suffer from none of that. I can fucking look at you in the face and said, fuck that shit. And you're a Spaniard, so that's a, that's admirable. <laughs> well, it, well uh, a Spaniard uh, by uh, way of Uruguay. <laughs> a, a Spaniard by word of a, of a colonized country, I guess, you know. Ethnic, I got nothing. I got no hedge of money. My mom's, you know, Bra- my mom's Brazilian. My dad's Palestinian. I got no, I got nothing. I got nothing. My, the Brazilians, yeah, yeah. they kicked the, out the Portuguese. They didn't do the rest. They, they didn't get the rest of South America. They just, well, the, 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 the Brazilians actually like faded the, 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 yeah. the, the Portuguese yeah. crown faded out of Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and they, and they didn't take over the rest of South America. And then the Palestinians, they, 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 they're, they're fucked as bad as the American Indians. I was like, yeah, it, it just, yeah. yeah. I got nothing. I got no hegemonic thing going on. I get, right, right, right. You know, but I mean, I, I mean, it's important to recognize some of these things in order to understand that, you know, in order to even find an analysis that is truly solidarious, we have to truly understand the plight. We have to really, you know, really understand that like life for people under the Taliban, that they basically got to power the last time. And just like they did in the Iranian revolution, you know, the first thing this fucking religious dude did was to fucking assassinate and incarcerate every single socialist and every single communist that they could get their hands on. Those well, but, are but my back up, But back up, though, it wasn't like the Shah was, you know, uh, warm and fuzzy and, 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 you know, free to be you and me either. He was murdering people on a regular basis, which is why you had an extreme right wing takeover of the government. Right, 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 right. right. But, but then but then you have a popular revolution. And, and because this is the whole Rick. Um, and, and maybe I forgot to say this goes towards the whole notion that, you know, about reconciliation, right? Everybody's talking about national reconciliation, national reconciliation. What I'm trying to encourage people to think about is that this whole idea of about about national reconciliation, it takes it takes everybody involved to want to play ball. And when you have a construct by which, you know, you are, you know, the messenger of God and everybody else is a hidden and God allowed you just like just like Zionist in Israel just like Catholics in Latin America, you know, during, d- during the, the, the conquest, you know, and now 
in the Middle East. You cannot in enter into a place of reconciliation where somebody is actually looking at you as someone who is inferior and someone who is only worthy of hell and that like I can actually murder you and actually earn my way into heaven. They have to understand the paradigm, man. Well, that's what <laughs> we got to wrap up here, but that's what happens when you, you know, make deals with the devil and the U.S. is the devil. Well, yeah, 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 That's yeah. It. I mean, you know, That's you know, uh, simple as simple as that. I mean, it's, just, it's simple as that. It's like it's like I get you, I get you, I get your passion, but like everything that you're talking about is a direct result. I mean, we destabilize that region, and we have brought in every right wing. We're trying to replace Assad with ISIS for Christ's sake. We're trying to, we're, you know, and who did we hire in Libya to do the groundwork for us? Of course, I mean Libya. I mean the, you know, the, the U.S. press called them moderate rebels, but it was fucking ISIS now and Al, and Al Nusra. That, no, but, 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 but we're not on we're not on different pages about about the role of U.S. imperialism in, in, no, in know, promoting and advancing, you know, right wing fascistic, uh, you know, uh, regimes, you know, religious uh, based or not. What, what, what I'm saying is it's a message that I, 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 I am trying to direct to the left itself, it, you know, to stop fucking, you know, fabricating liberators where there are none, because these are the agents of empire. You you know, and 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 if if the fact that the United States has not created them has not hit you yet, you know, then at least look at what you're dealing with straight in the face. And there is no uh, Islamic fundamentalist theocracy that you should ever, you know, forge an alliance with because you know they are not the friends of liberation any more than capitalist imperialism is and that's a very old school message but you know what at this point in time lot. like i you know i don't care anymore man you know i don't have to play footsie to get brownie points with political correct leftists so that i can get my next fucking job i don't care anymore well man. and and we, <laughs> on, on that note i'm going to wrap it up but 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 here's the thing though too it's like yeah yeah there, if if if, a, if there's a such a thing as a politically correct left leftists they're 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 just basically a, a democrat they're not they're not on the left we we, we with with some exceptions of some pockets here and there there's there's no left in this country and it, it, that's that's the idea of you know trying to do a show like this and to talk to people like you um but anyway hey man i gotta start wrapping it up here uh guys uh my guest has been adrian botereda and um uh you know again we're on spotify itunes the whole nine yards you can also visit the bitter info and like I said, any help is appreciated. And, you know, we do we do this just to do it. And, um, our, our, you know, our, our producers are cool people, too. But that being said, if this stuff makes you uncomfortable, it's supposed to sleep tight. Sleep tight.